My name is Josh, and today we're going over boot shining. Right here I have the goatskin cart rights. These are what they look brand new. And these are what they look like after a year wear and tear. The tools you're gonna need, two horsehair brushes, some leather conditioner, edge dressing, polish is optional. That's for if you wanna get an extra shine at the end. All right, so to start off, you'll want to take your horsehair brush and just brush down all across the sides, the edges, the stitching, the toe bugs, where the dust and dirt collects. Then you will take your leather conditioner, neutral in color, you don't wanna have any colored conditioners, and you'll spray it onto your cloth or your hand, whatever you prefer. The natural oils from your hands will actually help out with the leather itself. And then you'll condition it. Make sure you go across the front, across the vamps, the edges and heels, and you'll already see the leather soaking up. And typically, I like to go from one foot to the next before starting the next step. So I'll condition my left foot and then I'll condition my right foot before going to the next step. Get this brush down again. Something to make note of with worn in boots, as you get those creases across the vamp, you really wanna make sure that you get in there with the leather conditioner to get into the creases to make sure it doesn't dry out on you. Then you will take your polish, one fingertip's worth, and apply it to the toe box. A little goes a long way there. This is where the next horsehair brush comes in and you'll start to buff it out. You wanna go in circular motions. You can also go side to side. It, circular motions works a little bit better to get friction from the heat, uh, you're not necessarily going for pressure here. Once you get it to your desired shine levels, next foot, about a fingertip's worth, a little goes a long way. Apply it to the toe. You don't want to put it across the vamp because it could cause the leather to crack, depending on the leather that you're working with. All right, then you take your edge dressing and go around the edges here. This will help fill in any of those little cuts and you really just make sure that this stays conditioned as well because these are leather outsoles, so they do dry out. Go over the heels, and again, you go from one boot to the next. If you don't have access to an edge dressing, a leather conditioner also does a good job on your edges. And that's how you condition your goatskin boots. For other leathers, check out the rest of our series. <laughs>